Welcome to the Art of Tipping Drywall. I'm your host, Laurier Desarmo. We're going to recap what we had in the last video putting up these ceilings. If you look up, you're going to notice that there's three screws in the center of these sheets to hold them up, putting a space between them of approximately 12 inches. You're also going to notice, like in this room over here, that we got 12 foot sheets instead of 8 foot sheets. This way here, there's a factory joint going across with absolutely no butt joints. So that's the idea to have it. Another note to take into consideration is these joints run lengthwise towards the window. If I would have ran them the opposite way, you'd see the sunlight going over them and causing humps so that it looks like the drywall was poorly done, but natural light has an effect on drywall. So they were run lengthwise. This way here, the natural light from the window doesn't show a hump on the finished product all painted up and everything. It looks very nice and very proper. Now we're gonna make our way out to the living room back to the original spot where I'd put that 12 foot sheet on and we filmed it the other day. And we're gonna put the one on the wall using that drywall lift machine. So if you follow me out here, we're ready to go and we're gonna show you how this machine works to put the drywall up on the upper parts of the wall. The first thing I'm going to do in order to achieve this goal, I'm going to mark these studs up here. So all the wooden studs when it comes to the ceiling, and this time I'm marking with a pencil. If you mark it with your marker, there's a chance that it will bleed through your paint. You'll be able to see that marker. You don't want to do that. Use a pencil when you're writing on drywall, not a pen or a marker. So we need to know that these studs are here. So I simply make little pencil marks all the way along here to show me where my studs are so that I have something to follow when I put my screws in it. We also already determined that to end up on a stud, we've held the measuring tape across here and we will end up in the middle of a stud on a 12 foot sheet. My machine's sitting here ready to go, hooks are out ready to go. I'm going to grab myself a piece of drywall and set it on this machine and we're going to approach the wall with it and we're going to show you how that works for us. So the first thing I want to do is lift this sheet so that the face side ends up against the machine. So we lift it this way. I got to put myself, my body on the back side of the sheet, especially if I want the front side to be towards the machine. Again, lift with your knees enough to put it on your toe. That gives you room to put your hand underneath it to lift the sheet up. So here we go. And these are 12 foot, so there's nothing light about it. We're going to bring it over into place, and you're going to see me place it on these books. We're going to try to center it. And we're now on top of the machine. It's a beautiful thing. The machine works so well. My sheet's in place, ready to go. I'm not going to grunt and groan to strain myself to lift any more drywall at this point. So I'm going to bring the machine into place. <laughs> We're going to bring it close to this wall at the end and at this end here too. Now down here at the bottom there's a little break for this job. It's a little feature that's for this job. By putting that down, what that does is stops the machine from backing up when I flop this sheet towards the wall so I can push the machine forward. So I push my sheet into place. I want my plastic to be properly sticking out. All right, now with the machine in place, I can push it towards the wall a little bit more. I can also push it that way to tight to that wall, that stud. Check, and that's nice. Now up we go. So I don't touch the brake, but I hold on to this part. It's time to start cranking. Now that sheet's going right up, and I've snubbed it tight to the ceiling. That's all we need to do right now. We have it tight towards the ceiling. I'm partway on this stud. Now I'm going to share it a little bit since there's another half inch sheet coming in here. We're going to give it just a little push over to end up on that stud a little bit more. This next sheet will take you in that half inch of space we got here in the corner. So from there, and it's up tight, now I use my little two-step and I need my screw gun. Drywall screw gun again. You can regulate depth by simply turning this to put the screw in deeper or out further. That's what a drywall screw gun's about. 
the round part of the screw gun here is what pushes on the drywall and countersinks. And the bit sticking out countersinks the screw properly. So, with the machine in place, holding that sheet up for me, what a pleasure that is. We used to hold them up ourselves and try to put a screw into the bottom of this sheet. Now the machine does the job for us. So I simply push on it, find my pencil mark, and time to put some screws in those pencil marks that I made up here at the top. So, there's two. I know that there's one at the end. Might as well get them off. So we just simply move this along. And keep putting screws where those nice little pencil marks are to make life very easy. And something else too, a reason why we install the sheets on the ceiling first. Sometimes your drywall makes a little gap, even up to a half inch, around the outer edges at the top. Because these sheets are lifted and pushed up to that, it closes and eliminates that half inch gap that you create sometimes with measuring the sheets for the ceiling. <laughs> so, this is a proper procedure. Ceiling first, upper walls next, and then the next sheet gets pushed up from the bottom to tighten up against the factory joint. Another defective screw. And one more. Now that is enough to secure the sheet in place. So that takes care of securing the sheet in place for us to the point that we can pull this machine away and finish our screwing. So I come back and put my hand on the wheel and I pull up the brake. That releases it and I slowly let it down. And oh, that brake is stopping me at the bottom. That's what held that machine clip to the wall when I flopped that sheet towards it. So time to lift it out of the way. That makes that very easy, very, very nice to deal with. Alright, now with the machine out of place, all the screws in the top are holding that sheet in place. We've got enough screws to do it. Now we get the bottom ones. And we'll get them all along this factory joint here at the bottom. That moves along quickly. And then after I have my bottom secured, exterior walls, I do the same as the ceiling. So in each row, I will take the halfway point and put a screw there and then split those two in half. It's because we're pushing against it the insulation that we put the three screws to these walls. Now when I go around and start doing interior walls that have no insulation on them, I'll only put two. So I'll pick a spot here, pick a spot here, and only two screws in that four foot span will do the trick. Um, I've got lots of work to do today. So uh, this is the lesson for today. Uh, you saw the machine work to do the wall uh, sheets. You saw how the drywall was installed on the ceiling with the strategies as to why. So, this is the project for today. Signing off until next time. Take care.